software requirement and installation for full stack application development. This session will guide you how to download, install, and configure the tools required to set up the environment for full stack application development. Here is the list of tools we will be installing. Java 21 is the foundation for building our backend services. Node.js is a runtime environment for executing a JavaScript. It is crucial for front-end development and build processes. VS Code, a lightweight and powerful code editor for seamless front-end and back-end development. Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java and web developers is a primary tool for writing, debugging, and running Java-based applications. Spring Tools for a plugin to supercharge the Eclipse with the Spring Framework. It helps us to create a robust backend system. MySQL Server is a relational database management system to store and manage our application data. Let us start installing the tools one by one. Let me show how to download and install Java 21 now. So open your browser and search it in the Google by using the keyword Java download. Then you can click on the link which is provided by Oracle. There you can choose the version JDK 21 and select your operating system, Windows operating system. Then click on the 64-bit installer. This is the link to download 64-bit installer for JDK 21. So click on this link. It will start downloading. Once the installer is downloaded, then go to your downloads folder. Just double click on the installer to install JDK 21. It will start installing JDK 21 in the local system. Just follow the instructions and proceed with click on the next button. Now it will show the default location where the JDK 21 is installed. It will be installing in the location C drive program files. There it creates one folder called Java. Inside Java, we can able to see a folder JDK 21 after installing Java. Then click on next. Now we can close. For cross verification, we can navigate to the location C colon program files Java. There I can able to see the folder JDK-21. It is meaning that the Java 21 is successfully installed in the system. Next, I'm going to install Node.js. So open a browser, search by using the keyword Node.js download. Then click on the official link where we can download the Node.js. So click on this link. Then in this page, click on the second tab, Pre-Build Installer. Here we can select the version which we want to download. Let me select the latest version 23.3.0 for the operating system Windows. Then click on the button now download Node.js. Then it will start downloading. Once it is downloaded, uh, go to the downloads folder. Just double click on the installer. So here we can follow the instruction by click on the next button. Accept the terms and conditions for installing Node.js. Then proceed with next. Here we can see the default location where the Node.js is installing. If you want, we can change. Otherwise, we can proceed with the default path. Then click on next. Uh, no need to change anything. Just proceed with click on the next button. Then click on install. Now it start installing. So then click on the finish. For cross check, open a command prompt. Then execute a command node hyphen v. So it will display the version which we installed now. So I installed version 23.3.0. So we successfully installed node.js now. Next I'm going to install VS code. So here you can search 
using the keyword VS Code Download. Then click on the link where we can download the installer for VS Code. In this page, we can select the operating system windows. Then automatically it will start the downloading the installer for VS Code. If it is not, then you can click on the direct download link. So once the installer is downloaded, then go to downloads folder. Just double click on the installer to start installing VS Code. In this window, accept the terms and conditions for installing VS Code, then proceed with the next button. It will show the default location where VS Code is installing in our system. Proceed with next, then click. If the folder is already exist, that's why it gives the message already exists. Let me click on yes. Then next. If you want to create a desktop icon, you can enable the checkbox to create a desktop icon. This is for open VS Code by right click on the Windows Explorer. So VS Code is also added one of the menu in the uh, Windows Explorer. Whenever we right click, we can see the VS Code in the list of context menu. So better we can select all these features, then click on next, then install. So now this shows uh, VS Code is installed successfully. If you want to launch, uh, enable the checkbox and click on finish. It will open VS Code by default. If you don't want to open now, you can disable the checkbox and then click on finish. So as of now, three tools we installed. One is JDK21 and Node.js and then VS Code. Next, I'm going to install Eclipse ID for enterprise Java and web developers. So here you can search Eclipse download. Then click on the link where we can download the installer for Eclipse. In this page, click on the button download x86 underscore 64. Again, click on the download button to download the installer. So it starts downloading. So then go to the downloads folder and double click on the installer for installing Eclipse ID. So now we need to select Eclipse ID for enterprise Java and web developers. That means the second option, Eclipse ID for enterprise Java and web developers. And then click on install. Accept the terms and conditions for installing Eclipse. Once it is installed completely, then click on launch button to open Eclipse ID. So it will take the by default workspace location. If you want to, you can change your workspace location. You can change by click on the browse button. You can change your workspace location. Let me proceed with the default workspace location. So now the Eclipse ID is installed and it is opened. Choose this option, then click on proceed. Then click on yes. Uh, this is the welcome page. You just close this welcome page. 
now i'm going to add the plugin for spring framework then click on help menu then choose eclipse marketplace for installing spring framework for eclipse id here there is a search button we can search by using the keyword spring then enter then choose spring tools 4 so click on the install button to install spring tools 4 plugin for eclipse id Here we need to enable all the features then click on confirm in this window we need to accept the terms and conditions for adding uh, spring framework plugin in eclipse id then click on finish now you can see the progress of installing in the bottom right corner here there is a progress bar if you click on this we can see the progress of installing the required plugins for spring framework if you got this pop up uh, then click on the select all button here then click on trust select this is another pop up here also we need to select all then trust selected now it will prompt a message for restarting the eclipse id so click on restart now now the eclipse id will restart so once the id is restarted then go to the file menu new option there you can find one of the option called spring starter project uh, if it is not available in the sub menu then go to others there you can search by using the keyword spring then we can able to see the option spring starter project it is meaning that the plugin for spring framework is successfully added into the eclipse id next i'm going to show how to install mysql so search using the keyword mysql download in the browser then click on the official link where we can download the installer for mysql in this page there is an option mysql community downloads click on mysql community downloads then choose mysql installer for windows here it will display the latest version of mysql 8.0.40 is available and i'm downloading the installer for windows operating system there are two options here one is with size 2.1 mb and another one with size 306.5 mb so download the second one here just click on no thanks just start download now it is downloading the installer for mysql once it is downloaded go to the downloads folder just double click on the installer click on yes it will start installing mysql in this window select the option for full installation then click on next then click on execute button it will start downloading the required files from internet in this step click on the execute button it will start installing mysql server mysql workbench and mysql cell whatever required for mysql database management system
once all the components are installed then click on next again click on next uh, now down the port number where the mysql server is running the default port number is 3306 then click on next uh, we need to set a password to access mysql server so then click on next it will ask you to set password for root access set password for root user then click on next so no need to change anything just click on next next execute then finish so as of now we configuration completed for mysql server if you want to configure router then you can proceed with next otherwise you can cancel the installation just click on next and finish next this is not required just cancel yes next finish So now we successfully installed all the required softwares for setting the development environment for full stack application.